And one of the driving factors for me when I wrote my book was a concern about the polarization of Christians into two camps over men and women issues. And the camps get labeled complementarian and egalitarian. And I became conscious the polarization is particularly strong in the USA. And like Lucy, I found the conversation much more gentle uh, over on this side of the Atlantic. So one of my objectives in writing was to try and encourage the kind of respectful conversations that can bring people closer together. Um, my last chapter is called Taking Stock and Moving Closer Together, where I emphasize God's desire there be unity among believers and draw out some wider themes about Christian living. And I was surprised to discover just yesterday that two things which I said in that chapter have been quoted by a U.S. writer who currently stands up for restrictions on women's ministry. I was a bit surprised by that, but a bit pleased because it shows there's some interaction going on and, and some conversation happening. And I, I'm just hoping that might be a small indication that my hopes for a respectful conversation, bringing people closer together, aren't completely unrealistic. Um, the writer who quoted me was Amy Bird, um, and I saw a, a, a review of her book by a well-known complementarian leader, which complained that she was, as he put it, providing a doorway for a generation of complementarians to exit complementarianism. And I thought, well, oh, that's a very intriguing comment. Uh, I wonder if, from where he sits, he sees the polarization reducing. I wonder if he sees the differences are getting less and there's a bit more agreement and some people may be abandoning some of the hardline positions which are usual in the particular strand of complementarianism that he represents. Well, if he's right about that, then, then I thank God for it.